What's going on you guys? It's George and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today guys, I was totally not planning on making this video, but after having the experience that I had wearing these socks, yes, we're talking about socks today. What did my channel come to? No, but in all reality guys, I want to share and just live my experiences on my channel with you guys and just share everything that I feel like is worthy of talking about. If you're someone that does not care what you put on your feet, then wait for my next video. But if you're somebody that takes appreciation in all the details, whether it's socks, anything fashion related, then wait till you see these. I've been trying these socks now from this company called K-Bell. And in my opinion, they kind of are luxury socks because they're not a dollar per sock or like $3 for a pack. They're actually, they're fairly priced. But the reason why I wanted to mention these is because the quality is amazing. They're unique and they're just, they're, they're sick. So I actually have seven pairs of socks, I think, in this box, I have quite a bit. So we're gonna do a little haul, I'm gonna talk more about this company, and we're gonna have fun with this. So if you guys are interested in my review on K-Bell socks, then keep on watching. I love little details like fun socks, with taste, of course, but they can make the most formal outfit edgy. And that's something that I appreciate. Like these pair of socks right here that I'm wearing right now, yes, they are the finger, very like Chris Jenner-like, but honestly, just wear a pair of socks like this on a day that you're having, you know, a rough time at the office. And you know what? Karen will not want to bother you. If she gets a glimpse of these socks, she'll just, she'll move her merry way. So I love stuff like this, guys. This is gonna be a very short video, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with tons of facts about K-Bell socks, but I just wanna fill you in. They are sold at kbellsocks.com find them on Amazon as well and they're for men, women, children, the entire family. So check them out. This is not a sponsorship or I'm not an ambassador for this company. I just have enough socks here to do a haul and I have a good experience with them. So just wanted to share my opinion and my thoughts. So other than the fact that they are just strictly a sock company, they were founded in LA back in 1979 by Karen Bell. So that's that. Now, I have quite a bit of socks here, guys. So we're gonna dive in. Before I get to just like showing you all the socks that I have, let me just tell you the pair of socks I'm wearing right now, they are extremely comfortable. The quality is there. They are definitely premium socks. I have washed them already and they're not like falling apart. They're not getting um, like dingy looking. And if you're familiar with like stores like H&M or like, you know, fast fashion stores, when you buy those trendy looking socks that have cool patterns and stuff, like, and stuff like that, you can tell like when you wash them, they just look faded after a while and they just don't look as good as they originally did. So that's one cool thing I found about this pair of socks and um, this company is after washing them, they're not like crappy looking. Prices of the socks vary, but mostly they're around like $12. So not too bad, not breaking the bank, not an Arthur George, you know, um, Rob Kardashian socks. Those. For that price, they're out of line. I would I would not invest like 20 bucks in a pair of socks. That's like kind of crazy. That's Kylie, by the way. What's going on, Kylie? So let's dive in, guys. I'm gonna share the socks I picked up here. And um, first thing first, these ones are hieroglyphics, like cave drawings, and um, pretty sick. Love this pair. I thought they were really unique because I've not seen socks that have like cave drawings on them before. And they are thicker. Um, actually, all the socks that I got are kind of thick in a way so right now in the summer they're not that comfortable to wear but once we hit fall and I'm in Pennsylvania so like for the most part it's like always kind of chilly here except for you know summer of course but cave socks love these then we have some dinosaur bones and these are really sick because like they're dinosaurs who doesn't like dinosaurs and again these are very edgy this will this color will go with almost any outfit so I felt like I had to have those and then we just have some beer socks and it says here, just brew it. It's a little, you know, beer keg thingy. It has wheat on it and just like beer stuff. So pretty cool. I have cats, some street cats here, some alley cats um, on a trash can. I don't know what they're doing on a trash can, but they're still cute. And we have an orange cat right there. Love the orange cats. Next, we have some mythical creatures. Loch Ness, Bigfoot, of course, who does not want like a Bigfoot sock, so had to have these. Pick these up for my partner, avocados. 
And last we have this really cool printed one right here. I don't know what you want to call this print, but I love it. I love the color and yes, again, the quality, the feel of it, very soft. Um, mine is a size 10 through 13. So I don't know, that's my size. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this little review here, this haul, this K-Belt socks haul. I know this is totally random. This is something that I never talked about on this channel before, socks. Not many people probably within YouTube review socks, but you know what? Tonight, I'm just kicking back, wanted to share my experience with K-Bell socks and figured why not make a video. So my, my content has been kind of, you know, random anymore. And I just want to share my experiences with you guys, whether it's grooming, skincare, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, whatever the case is. Welcome to George Cheer Up, my channel here. And I just want to share fun stuff and things that I experience and go through with you guys. So yes. That is that. Hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. Hopefully I inspired you to check out some luxury socks because yes guys, $12 for a pair of socks. That is not a necessity. Nobody has to spend that much money on socks. Probably thinking I'm crazy right now, but honestly, why not? Guys, let's show some appreciation for this polo. This is very loud. This is not like me. I don't typically wear stuff that's like this um, bold. Maybe I do. No, I don't. I don't know, but this is, I'm looking at myself in my um, whatever monitor thing and I, who is this? Um, I also recently just got a haircut and um, for the first time in a while I have a fade going on and I have not had short hair in a hot minute as you can see on this channel so trying to like style it and work with my hair has been very complicated. I'm going to insert a picture right here of like what it looks like but today I just couldn't get myself to, to style it and look good so that's what the hat's for. I have to get used to short hair again. It's going to take a moment because it has been a while. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. Goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell because I upload videos weekly. So you might as well follow me on this YouTube journey. And my Instagram is in one of these corners too if you'd like to give that a follow. But until next time guys, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.